New stunning discovery in Australia changes everything. 80,000 priceless convict artifacts preserved by live rats. The awful living circumstances that Sydney's early convicts had to endure are well attested to by Hyde Park Barracks. In 1979, archaeologists were excavating the structure when they found something strange hidden beneath the floorboards. Over 80,000 organic items that ordinarily don't survive in archaeological deposits were preserved securely in the enormous rat nests that were hidden in the barracks rotting floors and ceilings. The rats preserved all of these rare artifacts, safe for over a century by keeping them in dry and well-ventilated crevices throughout the building. Their discovery provided a priceless window into convict life in Sydney in the 18th and 19th centuries. The Murray Man In 1998, as bush pilot Track Smith flew over the Walmira restricted region, something nearly extraordinary struck his eye. A gigantic figure about 1.7 miles tall had taken up residence near Lake Eyre. Since nobody knows to this day who made the colossal earth drawing, the craziest ideas continue to surround the alleged Murray Man. However, most scholars believed that this was a contemporary geoglyph that was carved into the earth with the aid of a tractor. The marine man is currently the largest drawing of the earth ever recorded. But who took the time to produce this enormous work of art? Its precise execution raises the possibility that GPS was utilized to make it. In addition to artists, construction workers and even soldiers are discussed as possible authors. Additionally, the performers at the time received a relatively sizable sum of money. However, he kept a cloak of silence about the background of the payment. What is still an exciting story for us is viewed much more critically by the Aborigines. As a result, the Marie Man was created in the Darius tribal region by people who believe the drawing doesn't harm their nation. Skull Rock this is the nickname given to Cleft Island which is off the coast of Victoria. Locals claim that this little island has seen less human visitation than the moon. The island is surrounded by treacherous surf and jagged rocks, which might harm even the most experienced swimmers. The 130 meter wide and 60 meter tall skull-shaped cave was formed as a result of the severe weather. The island is home to some amazing wildlife including seabirds and fur seals. Only nine people, according to local records, have ever visited this island. Neil Oliver, a Scottish television broadcaster, visited the area via helicopter and discovered something truly strange. On it was decaying cannonballs and local historians believe that the islands were used as practice targets by traveling ships. So, Thank God there were no frequent visitors to this place. Horizontal Falls The Horizon Falls or in other words the waterfalls that aren't contrary to the official name we're not dealing with ordinary waterfalls. In this roaring natural spectacle but with so-called equalizing currents, the direction of the horizontal falls flow depends on the suitable tidal phase and is located in Tall Buck Bay in the Kimberley region. Huge amounts of water rush at breakneck speed through the narrow, 20-meter wide straits as the tides change. The fact that ships may easily pass the horizontal falls draws both naturalists and a large number of tourists. Firefly Tunnel The 400M long tunnel was constructed as part of the railway servicing the growing mining sector at noons in the early 1900s. However, there are no longer any employees present, instead, a wide variety of new residents have migrated here. The tunnel walls took on the appearance of a dazzling starry tent thanks to a large number of fireflies. Those who went through the tunnel themselves were absolutely overwhelmed by the bluish shimmering sea of lights. Since the little animals are very sensitive to external influences visitors are instructed to switch off their flashlights and quietly enjoy the unique impressions. Mysterious 2,000-year-old young woman The finding of a young indigenous woman's skeleton in a midden cave at Ball's Head in 1964 was perhaps one of the stranger archaeological discoveries made in plain sight in Sydney. 
Ball's Head is a small harborside bush reserve about 1.5 km from Sydney's central business district, but it is incredibly rich in ancient indigenous heritage. In the 1960s, archaeologists discovered an incomplete female skeleton at this reserve, although her head and other body parts were largely unharmed. She was over 30 when she passed away, and along with 450 other artifacts discovered nearby. They discovered a young kangaroo's incisor teeth that had vegetable gum residue on it. Proving that she was wearing a necklace or had her hair accessorized before she passed away. Her teeth showed no signs of deterioration. Indicating that she had lived before the British arrived, estimates place her time there between 1,000 and 2,000 years ago.